Hi, in this video I will show you a simple way how to create a sniper scope feature where the background is blurred and eyesight is focused. I start from an empty project as usual and set it up step by step so you could see how it's done. So here I have two identical images, one is sharp and another is blurred. Blur effect was added in Inkscape editor. I position both of them in the center of my scene, select both of them and scale them up so they cover the whole view, like so. The most important thing in this project is to organize sprites in the layer so they go one after another in certain order. So focused object has to be above the blurred one. I set order and layer option for it to 3. Blurred has 0 here so it appears behind focused. Next game object will be hole. With help of this hole we will kind of see through blurred game object. It is just a white circle. I set order and layer to 5 for now to look at it. This hole has to be behind focused and in front of blurred, so I set its order and layer to 2. Ok. Now to create that interesting scope effect, I add sprite mask component to whole game object. This component needs a sprite which is considered as a mask, so I drag and drop whole sprite into sprite slot here. Mask is created, but nothing interesting happens yet. To finally create desirable effect, I select focused game object. And here in mask interaction option, I set a value which is visible inside mask. Focused game object disappears, but not completely. We can see it through the hole now. Cool. But this doesn't look like sniper scope. Here I have sniper scope sprite with transparent background. Add it to the scene. Make it a child of the hole, so it will follow the hole when it moves, and reset its X and Y position. Something wrong with order and layer. Sight should be above everything here, so I set its order and layer to 5. Very good. Now it looks much better. Let's add some targets. Here I have target sprite, which I add to the scene. It has order and layer set to 0 by default, so I have to change it. Target should be placed behind the scope and in front of focused game object. So I set its order and layer to 4. And as well as focused game object, target should be visible inside mask only. There we go. I add couple of targets more with the same properties set. Ok. Each game object has its own order and layer value. To make it more clear, here is a figure so you can understand better how game objects are arranged. Ok. Finally. To make the hole to follow the mouse pointer, I use the script named Sight. Here it is. It's very simple. Here I have vector3 mouse position variable, which will hold coordinates of mouse cursor. In start method I make cursor invisible during gameplay, so it doesn't distract us. And in update method I get mouse position converted from screen coordinates to Unity's world units and put hole at this mouse position. That's the script. Drag and drop the script to whole game object. Everything is done. Now I can hit play and see how it works. Works pretty well. Hope you find anything useful in this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.